would be the pros and the cons. I am into practice for now 24 years and when we started that time all there were very few subspecialities but now we see more and more of the subspecialities coming up. Now we all know that the causes of blindness uh, in India mainly it's 62 percent is for cataract 19 percent for refractive errors and then all the other branches follow one after the other. So what do we learn from this? That the number of patients suffering from these problems are quite high in India. So it makes us an, on the beneficial side for selecting this subspeciality. The other pros would be that the patient satisfaction is very high. So there is a wow factor you, you hear on and off and setting up of this practice is relatively easy and fast with a less amount of waiting period. Also the patient numbers are greater compared to the other the patient numbers are greater compared to the others and we have all age groups which could be targeted for cataract as well as for refractive surgery and it is easier for the beginner to start in their practice with this uh, kind of an age group variant age group the other pros would be that the job satisfaction would be higher because most of the patients you could give them 6x6 six six vision or near 6x6 six six vision. For cases the experience wise also increases so the learning curve is slower and you can easily develop your practice in a better way. Cataract and refractive errors are also both included by the WHO for the blindness program. So there is good amount of government support through national program for eradication of blindness. So this is another advantage for a person going in for this subspeciality. Here we have the numbers here of target in the Vision 2020 program and which says that the target numbers, the achievable numbers and the people who undergo cataract with IOL surgery has been consistently good and high in over the period of 2007 to 2011. This is the target for future refractive surgery from 2007 to 2011 and the number of people who are uh, getting screened, school children, the target as well as the achievable ones are quite high. So you are able to give them the glasses, you are able to even target this audience for your refractive practice at a later stage. However, there are some cons in this, that is the patient expectations are increasing day by day. Also, the risk of medical legal issues are more because they, the tolerance levels are going down because they are paying you for this and they want that they get 6 by 6 vision. The other con would be that the cost of setting up of this practice is very high because the cost of instrumentation is also going up day by day. The surgical challenge is also less as compared to other subspecialities because we keep doing the cataracts. No doubt there are different types of cataracts, different types of surgeries, but at the end of the day, once you have mastered it, the challenge becomes less and less. However, with the other subspecialities, the challenge is relatively more. With some surgeons opting for this subspeciality, competition is also high because the number of surgeons going in for this speciality is also very high. So the work gets divided. So once the competition is more, we are getting into a price war. So we find sometimes that in some places, the cataract surgery is becoming cheaper and cheaper and same is for the refractive surgery. So in conclusion, a person, a young ophthalmologist who probably he wishes to have a very good practice, an early practice, I think cataract with refractive surgery could be an ideal practice for him. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nitin. Uh, a very well illustrated and very well presented facts.
Uh, I think uh, most of the eye surgeons do opt for it. Of course, uh, like in a city of Delhi, there may be 2,000 ophthalmologists. So the beginners may find it initially very difficult. It's not as 